Well, quiet strength was really just a walk through my life and, and more of a description of how I grew up and, and things that I learned and talked a lot about football. But uh, Uncommon, I think, is really uh, a message to, to our young people of how you can live and live differently and uh, looking at success and, and what success is all about. My heart uh, since writing Quiet Strength has really been focused on, on young men. I got so many calls and cards and letters from 18, 19, 20 year old boys who said, boy, I, I really got a lot from your story and I'm dealing with this issue or that issue. And I thought it would be nice to, to write something directly to th those questions. I speak to a lot of teenage groups, church groups, school groups, uh, people that are interested in sports, and my message is always the same, that don't be fooled by what the world thinks is important. Uh, you have to pick out your dreams, follow your dreams, and helping people uh, is much more important than um, making money. Who you are as a person is much more important than what you do. I look at my dad, who was a, a science teacher, and my mom who uh, taught English and public speaking, and I think of all the people in my hometown that were affected by them, and people that uh, come to me now and say, boy, your mom made a difference in my life, your dad made a difference in my life, and I, I think they did things way, way more significant than me. And, and that's really the message of, of this book, choosing a, a path, something that interests you, but uh, not necessarily having to base your value on what society says about the job that you do or, or, or your station in life. And uh, if there's one thing that I could get across or would hope to get across with this book, it's that there, there's a lot of ways to be significant and it, it may be different than uh, the message we're getting from the world today. When I first started uh, as a head coach in 1996, uh, people were doubtful that my leadership style would work in the NFL. Um, I think in the United States we think more of our leaders as demanding respect and uh, I always felt that you could nurture respect and you could command respect by the type of person that you were. And uh, I, I, I hope in Uncommon people will get to see that, that there's a, a different way uh, not maybe the stereotypical way of leading uh, whatever group you're involved with, a business group, a, a school, um, a family, and um, that, that you can find uncommon ways to be that, that leader that we're all looking to be.